The Hustlers Corner. She's a South African singer, songwriter. She's also an entrepreneur because as a musician, <laughs> you are automatically an entrepreneur by default. Her music genre covers electronic dance music, neo soul, and experimental pop music. She walked into the limelight upon dropping her first album, To Gala Fairy, in 2018. She was born into a family of four children. She's the youngest of her siblings. Though she was shy while growing up, which affected her interaction with other people. She played with boys in her neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> she climbed trees. <laughs> <laughs> which explains why she has a few scars. In an interview with Bona, she said she, said she spent most of her weekends at her grandma's place. And her grandma's house was a stone throw from her home. It took her 30 minutes to walk from home. Her father introduced her to music. She could remember his return home late from work, parked outside her bedroom window and playing loud music. And she studied social sciences at the University of KZN. Her career highlights include dropping a debut album, which has held two performances, the DSTV Africa Magic Viewers Choice Awards, or two awards performances here, yeah? and the Buyele Kaya Festival in East London. She kicked off her career auditioning for the South African Idols. Oh, I didn't know this. I think she's told us this before. I've interviewed her before. I, didn't, I don't remember her saying this. I didn't know she was on idol. She, she auditioned for Idols. And also, South Africa's got talent, but she was unsuccessful, which is a beautiful thing. I'll go to all of you guys out there. If you're unsuccessful in one thing, it doesn't mean the end of the road. There's people like her who've tried numerous times and getting rejected and doors shut on her face, but she never gave up. Then she kicked off her career after audition. Oh, sorry. During her days in the university, she met Sane Le known to you and I as Sun L musician, through his younger brother. He got to know that she could sing through his younger brother. She had to prove she could sing. She was in, he was impressed and wanted collaborations with her, but she turned down the offer. She wanted to obtain her degree first. And then in 2017, she began a professional career in music after she signed to L World Music. After she was done dealing a scholar, she was done studying. Then she released her first studio album to Gala Ferry. The song, her first single was featured on Apple Music, Artist Spotlight, and then the rest is history. Today, she's in the same room. Today, basically, I witnessed, I even took out my phone and I recorded a video of Black Coffee being excited to meet her. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, Simi. <laughs> 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 This is not just anyone. This is Simi, guys. Uh, now I'm going back to that moment. Like, uh. And I want to ask you about that moment. How was that moment when Coffee was excited to meet you? And he's like, it's the first time meeting you. I'm like, what? Is Coffee meeting you for the first time? And he's yeah. excited. How did you feel yeah. a couple of minutes ago? No, I was not ready, uh, Sanmunani. Yeah, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I was not ready. Uh, I think now I'm starting to come on. So I was like, you know, I'm a fan. Yeah, yeah. So I'm starting to get hot, and then he's like, I'm such a fan. First time meet. I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yes, no more so bonga so bonga. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, but that was a beautiful. It was moment. beautiful. So yeah. beautiful for me. Um, yeah. I think I had to capture it on camera and I had to ask him to say it again because you know what? <laughs> These things are historical. Mm -hmm. so historical yeah. Yes, they assume we all know each other, we all meet, we all no, hang out. No. They don't understand. Sure. Even night is born on my TV. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then nothing I show you no make my interview, no make my environment and general. Yeah. See abonga cool to some No, thank you, thank you so much. It's beautiful being here. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's not the la the last person I'm introducing to you guys. The next person, Ikamalaki Musaneles Tol, Musaneles Tol. He's better known to you and I as a DJ, an entrepreneur, a producer, a musician from KZN. Previously signed to Demo Music, he had produced songs for artists such as Ubuusi, who received an award. Uh, where my Zazas? Okay, right. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> Who received an award for a song that was co-produced by Sun L? Sun L, musician, yes. Usanele, Los Lelinae Konamai, started his own record label, label called L World Music, signing the electrifying Simi, who's sitting next to us, and the seasoned superstar vocalist S. Stone. 
The industry has welcomed this development by awarding him with three South African Music Awards. He won like two, um, summer, I think that was Summer 24, yeah, yeah. for his hit track some, with Something Soweto, Best Collaboration, Sampra Highest Airplay, and Samro Highest Airplay. Um, San El musician, his name, Jobe Lila, left his home in the Midlands of KZN and dropped out of university to move to Joburg and pursue a dream that continues to unfold um, to, with To The World and Beyond, the much-anticipated follow-up to his debut album. Okay, Africa, San El musician almost didn't even release the very song that made him the much-loved name he is right now in South Africa. <laughs> he sent Agana Mali song to three different sound engineers and still didn't feel it was quite, they didn't feel it was quite, um, it was quite ready to see the light of day. The song Agana Mali, which is about being broke, sat on his laptop for about four months before his younger brother Usandile encouraged him to reconsider putting it out for others to hear. He talked to OK Africa about making the album below. Your first album, the first album was titled Africa to the World, able to put on over the years. He's only still new, but his star just keeps rising and rising. And we've all been entertained by his, um, his talent with the world. They got a chance to experience him. And I'm one of those people. Also happens to be uh, the world's longest marathon radio show. We are now 72 hours in. We've got about 140 something hours to go. We are going to set a brand new world record. And when we sat down with the team, we decided to go to the these people have to be on the show because I'm also such a very big group. He's such a big fan of their music and I'm inspired by Ngendelabai Patanga Corner with their humility. I can't help but just be in awe and also say to the team, yeah, song is going to see Vumelana. Nobody said no. Uguti in the studio we will have Usimi and San El Musician. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a long intro, ne? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So imagine when they turn 40. It's a big Do you understand? When they are coffee's age. <laughs> yeah. Because for me, that's why I see San L. When mm. I see coffee, I see San L. Wow. Mm. That's a huge compliment. Yeah. Simi, <laughs> San L musician, thank you guys for coming. Gia Bonga. Sabo. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah. Makaya, that's all I think about when I see her. <laughs> Simi, let's start with you. Um, yeah. The youngest of four, a tomboy. Yeah. You know, let's go as far as when you met Usanel, actually. Uh, Usimi, Usimpi, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Yeah, I've, I've always loved music and I won't lie. It's, it was through my dad. Uh, but also the one person, Oang Caesar, you know, to show me what's okay. Gang, we are so good. We are We are good. It was my elder sister. Um, but I won't lie, I always felt like who would like if voice see me? Ngangula primary high school, uh, but saying I won a manager because I was always interested in like writing or changing the song. Mm. But yeah, always a hobby. And then Guy UK Zerin, um, Mang Fair UK Zerin, I meet U Sandile, um, Sanal's younger brother, um. And a friend, a friend of, of ours, and Sugana Ikai, was also a friend of Umondi, and um, she told Usani, no, this one is hiding a voice, Lee. <laughs> so, yeah, um, he came with the beat. I remember it was a trap beat. I was like, I'll write whatever I'm hearing. But I think also my brother helped, you know, with the R&B and the hip hop. Um, so, yeah, I wrote whatever, and Usani was like, this is something. And I guess from there, Okuluma with Usanele, and he passed by at Rez, and he, he he literally I auditioned. Yeah, <laughs> I I'm sang. A, I'm a pause, I was I'm there a pause. shaking, shaking. <laughs> <laughs> like I remember, I was sitting in my dark room, I was shaking, and I was like, yeah, come here. And then I went there, I sang, and I left after that. Um, I was like, okay, cool, nice. And then he was working with Ubusi at the time, and he was like, no, we can work on something and whatnot. And I was like, I look like this girl, like Kala, you know, because there was a promise that I had made to my parents and to myself. Um, and I kept that promise. After I'm glad, 2015, I moved to Johannesburg in 2016, and I immediately contacted the guys. And from there, ah, we, I started as just chilling and vibing with Tamaten Kule Nabo. Uh, because I loved the music. I remember he had left me a CD back in mm. Varsity, and I was like, I have never heard such music, but 
what I'm hearing is something that I could listen to every day. So I got into studio and yeah, from there, a lot of vibes. And then I actually recorded some songs with Usandile first. Um, and then he was going nine to five at the time. So but I, son of a musician, deal with that. So yeah, we recorded and yeah, I got Puma O Ngonile from the first album. Actually, there was an album before the first album, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but we were like, no, as Kai, you know. Um, Isngis. Yeah, Isngis. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So I was there learning while he was, you know, putting his sound together. I was fortunate, actually, because while he was putting the sound, the, like the old music sound, um, Nami, I was there figuring out, okay, because I've always loved writing, but I didn't know. So I was there writing a verse, his Zulu, and then switching up the chorus. And then he's, okay, what do you think? And like, okay, you can switch it up. And, and then I would sing out loud something that it may feel again and then like no but what you just said works mm-hmm. um and then yeah i guess i really just found myself from there and yeah and mm-hmm. the chemistry between you is i love it thank you thank you um, so i feel much. as though as a, as a unit you guys yeah. are, are powerful thank yeah. you sanel yes you dropped out of school yeah <laughs> <laughs> and that's where he's going this yeah. one he's going yeah. to the world yeah, Indeed. Thank you. Yeah. because it's got a distinctive sound but now i guess hello to stella guti Okay. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh Sanel uh musician, Sanel is told. Uh interesting. We went to period, I think being looking experience a lot of things because love is not corner music. Yeah, so um my sister actually she was the first one or let you quite to engine. You know, because I forgot my cassette in at that time. TV. You know, on my release. You know, mm. Yeah, that's really, really. And now, as in Kuwait and music, actually, I'm realizing something. Which is, Equite is the first electronic uh, generation uh, in South Africa. And then, in the second generation with house music. But anyways, that's Kuwait. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a conversation. Yeah, for yeah, yeah. So, um, I mean, Kuwait is in Kula, you know, um, my younger brother, Sandy, has always just been there. We've, we both designed the sound, you know, Kalengo went on mashups, you know, started like a, an R&B song, you know, um, and I'm a vocal, starting instrumental house music. So it's something that was very popular at the time. Yes. Um, and then we, we took that, and if I was CD, it's a rank, it was playing, you know. And it's sold, I'm sure. Yeah, it was. It, yeah. it was really, really moving, you know. Um, we we brought we bought our first computer, you know, through grant money that we were receiving at the time, um, which was really, really amazing. We took us allowed to just really take money, speed. This is a school, and like, no, I look ten computers, you know. But we knew already knew which, you know that's what we wanted to do is just to make music. Um, as in Kula, you know, I went to college. Uh, that's the first time actually experiencing Bono DJ equipment, people dancing. I fell in love with the feeling. I was like, no, this is how I want to. This, this feeling, you're an anything from company, you know. Uh, but then I had to, I, I think I didn't make up my studies when I was spending so much time at a computer lab really looking for new sound, new music and all of that instead of just studying. You know, I did do well my studies and then I told my girl and I was like, Coco, hey, so it was not easy for her because before you know, and all of that, you know how parents are, you know, nah, she's just being protective. But anyways, uh, I stayed at home for like two years making beats, you know, um, and then I moved to Johannesburg, you know, uh, and I told it deal, I signed as a producer at Demo Music. And then what? And then I moved. Uh, I started my own record label 2016, and there was no Uh It's movement. And me, how your home life being done? Because you said that you made a promise to your parents that you yeah. will complete your studies. But I can imagine then when you are done with. But, yeah, you know, they might have not. I told my parents I want to do music, or I told my parents I want to be in the entertainment industry. And umzadiwati, yeah, great, do it. Mm. Um, I remember I I first wanted to be specifically a TV presenter. 
uh, and I would always days. yeah. Role like model like for those days. Uh, Akum Zizi. Kumbulu Saifo. No, Akum Zizi. Yeah. Yes. Happy yes. and Kumbulu was Zizi. Kali. Yes. Kali. Like mm. all of them. Yes. Um, and it's weird because I'm barely to school and then I'm like, no, no. But yeah, they really inspired me. So it started there. And then I, Uma, Elo, Echia, Zetinje. TV and you know but anyway i didn't even have but i think in my mind i always i was always like one day i think i'm mm. calling you guys waiting you know mm. um and and i i, I did that so um i was like okay now i have to go to varsity because i know for a fact whatever i want to try and do so I have to leave like her because I have very strict parents. Um, so we yeah, are got in a way. Um, so I knew what to know. I have to leave, and it's not me leaving. What's in the girl soup? No, I just really want to fly. I want to be out there and explore. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, among figure vast in a corner. It's it's weird. More figure vast went to something on my ass in and I was I always just thought okay. Mm. Business has to be there because I was always interested in Pigang Tanduk Daisy and whatnot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I picked the modules um, like um, economics, uh, business ethics, and so forth. If not, I'm going to start a business or whatever. But still, music and just entertainment as a whole. And at that time, if you want like a broadcaster, you know, mm. I really. Um, and among figure of us, I remember I did um, an SABC3 audition. I was feeling shake and it didn't work out. I was like, red flag number one. I was like, okay, yeah, uh, this is not working. I traveled to Durban. Uh, I just went because I was like, audition I was like, no. So, yeah, um, I think I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, Maybe there was just that thing of I need to finish this degree because I'm so going. I'm full of more. I didn't want to ruin anything. Um, young as I get, I'm going to give fun. I'm like, I'm so fun that I'm getting there in the after varsity. But I just knew it. I had to get that degree. It was a massive great deal of fake hanging. It's as in, this is it. I'm gone. Um, and my number one, uh, was in getting it paid, but also swam up here. Was already here in Johannesburg. Um, so I was like. I don't want to go to Durban. I literally want to go to Johannesburg. So I'm going to degree. I remember 2016, my for my holiday. Um, Ebuya is a like only to carry on with um seven zwake. Um, ngapagi shanam, and I was like, yeah, tomorrow I'm leaving with you. Um, so yeah, I got to Joburg. I moved in with her. That's after first. So I could say just in eight degree was really my ticket to leave home. Um, and I got here Sahala for. I remember actually we also did some because we were gospel artists. So my every gospel time, I would be there being like, I don't know what I'm doing, but yeah, this is me on TV. The guys laugh at me when they see the videos. And I was like, well, yeah. this is you. <laughs> 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 you know because well, but i was still like hey but this is this is not where i want to be i'm more um i guess i really just um music had to make handalam you know growing up listening to Mpakanga and all that music i just wanted to explore something different and must figure in february i remember i went to the idols um Auditioned, didn't work out. But like from a group of ten, I forgot the words on the first song. I go in, I sing another song, and I finish it. And like it's it's such a weird process. There's like a producer level. So I go in there and then I make it through to the producer level. Um, just me from that group of ten people. So in my mind I was like, okay, fine, something was missing, but there was also something, you know, about Ibonil. And then I'm like, okay, next essay's got talent. Um, and then Mang Fego SS got talent. They were, they didn't even give me feedback. So I think from there I was just like, oh, okay, cool. Betty. You let's know, Betty, on. let's move on. Yeah. And I got a job at Ross selling shots. Not even like I, I spoke to a friend, a son, and I got to do whatever it is. Um, every Friday I could come through, get my commission. Uh, I would make like 400 lapo. I don't even drink, but I'm there. And Gulit on Fridays, they just do the most. Oh, yes. I know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You 
get there, they ask you, who, who are you? And I'm like, ah, oh, okay. But I, I think I always had a mission, you know, because even though I was there selling shorts, I would just introduce myself and be like, yeah, I'm a graduate, da da da, you know, pante. Um, and then with the money that I got from Metros, I would apply, you know, push CVs and whatnot. Um, until I got a call from the friend that actually helped me with the job at Ross and was like, there's a recruitment company looking for um, consultants or trainers or whatever. Um, I went there, I got the job. That was in June 2016. I'm still speaking to the guys. I haven't, I'm still there, no. And the guy's like, no, you need to pull through. I'm like, I am going to pull through. Um, and I, I have to be honest, immediately after I got the job, I, I left my sister. That was another uh, plan another I had ticket. to get. Yeah, I was yeah. like, okay, I have to leave because shame. She was worried with the Isekoli and Uzola Sega. Inganegama. Like, no man puma, man buya. She thinks, I'm like, Angbuya, like, Angbuya, Ugyogwenza, into a right to get me somewhere. So I left in Ashalangetwa. I moved to Rabi Ridge. Um, and yeah, from there, I was so good. Studio. <laughs> nine to five and studio like i was having so much fun i was not even realizing um and so but i think ganga decided it was getting now to a place where i was really enjoying doing music and i was learning so much and in gishongisa office in my mind i was like but i would rather be in studio than here um and yeah after two years 2018 i had to i i remember i was even hiding that from my parents i think the only time i i was forced to tell my parents who was against music was 2017 when i was in botswana and i was not going to be home for christmas I'm doing music. I can imagine the reaction from my guy. What, what do you mean? Well, they're not sure what's happening. I think I lied to a point where I couldn't lie anymore because the music was <laughs> out there. I didn't even think it was going to be so big and people were going to know the songs or I was going to be on radio. Uh, but yeah, from there, I think now we're in I know my dad was a bug and she didn't do anything. But you know, yeah, from there, 2018, after two years, I couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't focus on both the nine to five and music, and I quit and just solely focus on music. And I'm really having fun. I got time to actually do more. I started piano lessons. I during the lockdown. Nah. No, not even during the lockdown, yeah. before the lockdown. Oh, before the lockdown, okay. Yeah. But I saw you taking some, le- some lessons during the lockdown. That was actually me practicing. Oh, um, practicing. We actually started with him. Like The suggestion Ooh. came from him. But like, I didn't think it was something that would happen. We would sing a funda, a piano. Yes. You know, I'm closing Ibuela from afar. And then I started, and then come the lockdown, um, what was No, we can do it through via WhatsApp. And we did that. And we are still, so after I think about two or one and a half year huh. lessons, and it's not it's bad. Going, yeah, Pante, so I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. Oh my God. You know, so the one thing that I, uh, is a common thread with all the people we have been interviewing um, since we started the marathon is that it's as though it's inherent. They know that they're supposed to be doing something. You know, they might take a different path, but yeah. it's as though the universe plots to bring them back into this thing they're supposed to be doing. And eventually they can't, you know, they can't stop themselves mm. um, anymore. And they're willing to sacrifice everything. I mean, working at draws and, you know, moving to Johannesburg and going into, you know, the wilderness, really. Um, Sanele. Yes. When I, especially because it's as though you, you, your ancestors maybe gave you this 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 <laughs> this, this this talent because yeah, it's not something grandma. that we are yeah. used to. Your sound is something that is so distinctive. Yeah. Uh, tell us about how you know it was created and because Luna, when I listen to me somehow have chemistry and you are able to gel. Yeah. You know, put this music together. It's amazing. Uh, I think you know, see me is coming. We Eric she find the case then. Firstly, I think your lentessence with be a for us to connect because my come out the I'm like oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. When the Commodores, yeah, it's cool. So, send that one out. So, but I think Mina, for Mina, really the love for my electronics, I love from from darling, I say Rosetta because I'm going in. Yeah, what is in Dwayne? This was twelve. Production is Lala Market Games. Yeah. As KZ. Yeah. 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 Pretty one running. So Lala, that's me. Yeah, yeah. That was yeah. just me because I didn't understand how much. Why am I so hooked to this thing? Can't I'm born to be computer already. 
So making hamang pega all these arcade games. No, it's actually a computer. If I'm a parrot, so that's when I fell in love with electronics and just being in front of a computer. But yeah, men kubega, men kula. You know, I think as soon as me me figure, I think she really taught me a lot in terms of seeing to you know. I mean, Imoy River is more of a slightly urban. Um, uh, area out in a synthesis, Ningo got to a isn't a Ning as in the Simon Chalong Polo, in Polo, man. No, it's the wedding song. Yeah, Ingo Mazumshat. I'm like, oh, okay, platform one. Ah, Nazia was as well. That's actually how we made in Tabas Good because I had I had the beat, it was just running for two, two minutes and she she tried writing and I was like, okay, cool, this is nice, but Yazin. I sampled and all. I some so I think on YouTube and, and just watch e, e platform one, just one of those songs. I think it's in Tabi was good there. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We couldn't find actually because I was. Yeah. I think I I got in Tabi and then we couldn't find it. Yes. They were like just sing it out. Yeah. How, however it sounds. Then. Yeah. Say from Maranja, I think that's how we really formed this whole sound and how we. We really in the lessons in our team to this long and I think this look a sample so you two I could be perfect. I get co bars with wins and it was just super experimental. Yeah. But me and I mean touch on my influences are my house music always, always it's always been like that, you know. But I think La and Shape Kona cool when I was signed uh demo music. That's when because in Fingy club guy, you know, I was just making club music, don't want to you know. But then Ming Clean Nobles not the more bang fundis radio. You know they were making mm. they had can songs. make radio yeah. friendly yeah. songs yeah. 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 and that's what literally um cements you into the ears and the hearts of the people of course yes sir because radio plays a very significant role it especially does, in our it country does, you know it does, it does. So yeah. as much as a, a lot of us who don't get a lot of radio airplay would get irritated and we like but we all know guti in south africa especially radio is still a very big part of millions yes. of people's yeah, lives so when your music makes it on radio <laughs> then your life changes forever because then you can be able to stand in front of 10,000 people yes. and just see people sing your song mm -hmm. and you just oh. can't believe it just yes. thinking from where you come from yes. you yes. know and i yes. think that's why a lot of us musicians our love is always just being on stage yes. seeing people appreciate your music yes, sir. Yes, sir. no 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 no, I'm no, visualizing no, no. because i remember miss uh, i don't know if saying glory cover but yeah uh in kumbula's lali cassettes lali artist to be over the ends at that time <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I remember, you know, I I, I draw inspiration in Ninga Cool from that because what we used to do on Alessa's cut, he cast a shop, shy, five cast shop play. She, yeah, yeah. Most of the time, he's shy and you play like, oh, muta chabu. So, yeah, that's the sound. So, I think it learned for me now. I've been going to come up with a generation of musical angelo. I think the man. That's exactly what I, I, I want to do. I mean, for not more like the album, we change the play, we share the genre, we share the singer, we want to come and propose, we relax, we grow. And that's how your music yeah. is, and yeah. your music is so global. Yeah. And I'm definitely, I would have asked you this question, but that's already the title of your album. Yeah. You're going to the world. <laughs> well, and, and you're sitting there while Coffee was being interviewed, while while Coffee was playing his music there. Yes. What was going through your mind yeah. as opposed uh, 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 relating that yeah. to the title of your album and where yeah. you'd like to see yourself? Because yeah. as much as I did share earlier, which it was beautiful to see yeah. Coffee meet Simi for the first time, and yes. I, I recorded that on yes. my phone. Yes. But also on the other hand, yeah. in an environment like this, you used to listen to my music yes, when you so. were a young Stan Kaiser. Mm -hmm. What 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 what? what what was going through your mind and yeah. when you look at a, a person like Coffee? Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's amazing. You know, I, I've met with Coffee, I think, maybe six years. You know, I've been to his yeah. place. Yeah. And she's in Yama. Yeah. And I think we drop your album. But I think it's, it's, it's uh, in that age, which before I drop your album, I'm about to, to Indian. So, Valuing Sano Demo, who was part of Sharon. Yeah. You yeah. know, so I'm up with Buddha Amjay. I think, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's, I'm saying he shout out uh, uh, 
yeah. so since someone is at you know you know it's it's so in, young inspire a lot it just shows me in the wengas vula ending in the even more you know uh just seeing him just literally surrounded by white people at yeah, yeah. you know it's so amazing story sack is so big you know I, I always just look at him with the accident and everything you know writing panel but insecure but it's amazing then I just look at him mm-hmm. and get you wow how do you how do you make him go to a kubuti court like it's easy to move 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 but it's not about you know people were, can be spiteful you know that's so amazing young inspiring push even more like no if we put a yami I was a cat like and just shy hit you and just don't kill him and I can do it so uh, it, it's it, it really really young push I mean for me so it's amazing it's really amazing so so Kalila to make strides to go to the world have you started speaking to overseas agents and Sambe to make your moves overseas yes yeah uh, actually I was just in a, a meeting is all you know a zoom meeting uh, I'm getting revealed much but okay. you know it's 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 in international collabs because uh, I think it's a bit it's a bit easier to be engaged with the uh, album and get I mean for the emphasis even more that's why I got 31 songs on the album I was like no uh, let me just put it out there. Plus, with the COVID, what's happening right now? A lot of people are consuming music, but so it's 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 a great time it, for me. And when we don't get the timing, yeah, was just perfect. I was like, okay, more, let's get it in. You know, um, after finishing seven zagayasim, which is sixteen songs, it's, yeah, uh, it's a yeah. lot of work. Yeah, 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 it's a lot, but it's it's beautiful because with the people responding, you know, thank God for social media we can actually track now and see people enjoying the music it's amazing it's it really is good. so correct when i see musanele as mm-hmm. i dropped an album literally 10 days ago mm-hmm. literally I mean I, I mean I haven't dropped an album in almost 10 years wow. being busy wow. and I'm a business yeah i dropped an album 10 days ago immediately 24 hours later you can see the song that's performing yeah, it's mm. yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, I used yeah, to go yeah. to Mbala, yeah. like promote, promote. <laughs> <laughs> promote. Yes. Yes. Promo. And then only yes. four or five months later, yes. but Ingoma is doing well in Pumala. I was on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but Ingoma yeah. is doing well. Today, for me, it was like, wow. Yes. Is this a generation that we're in? Yeah. You drop an yeah. album now, 24 hours later, yes. you know this song is performing. Yeah. And I mean, the song that's performing on my album now, 10 days later, Yeah. yeah is a song a that is not even my song yeah. <laughs> that is a song that i it's featured like yeah, that. ali yeah, kiba yeah, from yeah, tanzania yeah, yeah. Wow, wow and and i'm like it's on thousands and thousands of views yes. yeah. and then but i think what's a beautiful thing is then it gives you guidance and then immediately yeah. shoot the video for the song yes. and then tomorrow i'm off to tanzania to go promote yeah. that song. Yeah. you know what i mean yeah, and that's amazing. i guess that's what you're yes. saying to the world yes, yes yeah. and when you are women desire to the world because you've got a, a couple of people that you carry yes yes and speaking of carrying people um sanele as well as yourself simi you carry people in your music because you you are able to create music that is inspirational it's always positive it's always you know a, a positive outlook yeah um and i mean it's easy to create a song about let's make money let's twerk let's yeah. you know because that that music actually yes. sells yeah, yeah. Yeah. you know but you decide to take a different direction altogether yeah. when doing a web or like in makaya for mm. example mm. Um, you have gone through challenges yourself. I mean, not yeah. when going going through auditions and not making it. You having to quit school, for oh. example. Yeah. A song not being liked by producers. Yes. What then still propelled you and kept you going? Because it ma- it's not easy. I can imagine. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll start. Uh, I think first, Linje, I'll, I'll thank the the guys, the team. Um, Sometimes we we are pile and because I, I, and I think Ngomoto Kavanga cool. I always I've always been a storyteller. You know, at the I love telling stories. And if you know, to know, you do you know what happened? This happened and this happened. So and sometimes it's stories. I is like and then sometimes it's just stories that are really serious. Um, but you know, the guys really freed me in terms of understanding what's okay. Um, th- 
people will go through one, two, three, and four. So it's it's always important to tell a story that is relatable out there. Yes, you can speak about love, you know, um, which I just enjoy. But it's tougher to write, to go deep. Like we enter I can be like, you know what, right now we are going to and try to tell that story in such a way that no um, you know, relate. Yeah. Like it's so tough. I won't lie. Um, I think sometimes I was too dark, mm. and then he would just immediately say, "I, mm. I chop." Mm-mm. It was so deep, yeah. so and then I would be like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. uh, because I was young at, at that time, I was what 22, 23. Um, but also being, I think, what helped me as well was always that thing of I loved pop music, um, so I had to use that, um, what is it, in Lela Ikbalong, I we pop like how easy, simplify, uh, sim- simplify, yeah, simplify it, mm. you know. Um, so we, I, I think one from the song from the song, oh, okay, no, in my mind, I know he's gonna judge me, so let me just cancel this oh. and <laughs> <laughs> write four lines until yeah. it became a habit, until mm. I was actually able to say whatever I need to say in the first four lines. Yeah. Um, you know, so yeah, I think it's really that um the, the guys really helped me and just also accepting what's okay, go see me and this is my responsibility. So in a way it's like I always have to put in OCMP or you know what yeah. OCMP has gone through or what has OCMP has experienced. Um and I have to take those stories and tell them because I know Emma Kaya, there's a girl like me, you know, Okulena Bafana or who has gone through such and such. Um and yeah I think that's mm. really um yeah. Uh, yeah. That's you. <laughs> Be- before, you, Sanela, yeah. Oh yeah, before I answer a l- l- question, um, usiswak, ubuche, ne? Yeah. <laughs> Buche, well done. Well done, yes, Jayami. Yes, 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 she yes. knows why in Biza Jayam. Yeah. Well done, Buche <laughs> Jayam. You know, those days, Nasa Pushike, ZNTS records. Yeah. Oh, dad, I'm proud to have a little yeah. did we you know. Oguti, um, in the future, this Hello, is what you will produce. Yeah. Well done, Siswami. We are so proud of you. Mm. We are very, very proud of what your family has been able to produce. Um, Lengane is going extremely far in this industry. Mm. She's going to be around here for many, many years to come. So I just thought, I just thought, I'm sure you're going to watch this interview at some point. Thank you, Jaya. I was all I used to look after us with arrive in KZN and Lama Caravela. We would watch like, every show, every serious? TV, TS for life. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she'd even be grabbing our bags and we're like, no, it's okay. But she's like, no, 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 put on your pictures up. She looked after us yeah. and she helped us solidify a base in KZN. Yeah. It was not only us, yeah. most artists from Johannesburg. So yeah. mm. there are those people that. Um, do that work behind the scenes mm. that are never acknowledged in yeah. these spaces. Yeah. You know, yeah. we only see musicians. Yeah. Yeah. But behind musicians, there's a whole lot of other people around. Oh, yeah. cool. She's one of those people, yes. and she's been instrumental to a lot of our successes. So mm. we celebrate you, Thank you, Jaya. Amazing. You Can know, I positivity in I think we're also pretty good. We're busy. We're going to pop on this step. No, here I talk about when to come back. I think when fun goes good, he um. In the way it's your pal, you know, I'm being gas, but I think it changed a lot from uh, put a you know. Uh, he was t- actually telling me our stories, how we and Abu Nobusi, how they wrote, it turned me on. And wow. then I was like, okay, when see me uh, pull through because when I was structuring them, I was like, no, he hasn't done something. Velu pal, pali paragraph. And then I started chopping it into melodies. Now, I just began to go but I think it's a I can tell but I'm in the data. I was like, hey, I want to easy as you are. I was told, I you can sing. So, just that's a little we we touch, and then she just started owning it. And then, what I chop her, and then I got to I'm chopping so it's no, hey, I asked my palace in tending. I spell it, I'm going to my lines on balance at the bridge. 
second verse which is we or we can even use the same melody on the second verse mm. and as we well back to preach it's mm. all about just to bringing people along i'm yeah. i'm most i'm you know just more than abantu and then once when our change is key then people can't sing along so yeah so you simplify it now most of the stage to see me i told you this i was like was on stage of a party mic was on yeah. That's simple. It's so it's easy to call for Manut Bawa's we memorize. But the formula of just making inspirational music comes from and now Nigerian EDM, you know. Uh, but more especially from Xwell, who was part of Swedish House Mafia. All of his songs, Thank God I Found You, uh, World Hold On, all these songs are all positive. Don't you worry, child. Zongumaza, if you can listen to Swedish House Mafia, really it's all inspirational music and once i fight with dance oh it's gone i totally agree mina that's yeah. what made my career mm. so if you listen to about everything happens for yes yes yes, yes. Oh, Remember yes. 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 Mango, man, yes. all my songs yeah. are positive yes. and inspirational yeah. Yeah. and what i love about it is you've got a chance of creating classics because mm. songs like that are timeless yes, yes. Yeah. they're not talking about you no know? they it's it's forever people are forever gonna want to succeed they're gonna yeah. forever want to be yes, better yes, yes, even yes, 100 yes. years from today yes yes but in the good dark you know it, it, we are so fortunate i think young can lend the right because is it go through a young and pandemic people are losing jobs people are losing up and my loved ones you know family members and now the music will look at change on eggs over right at kube again see a pambi you know i think young kind of i think evil as in zagale it's not to put uh yeah i want to say as 2020 is a basic feel no over the work on down a young kind of natural should develop see i want to have a camera from the social space and it's cooler it's coming on close so called close hours a lot of strict we ask now i chose to send to music as of me go we said like hang it i know my arm and then as well in tin as now choice between in the two guy explicit being echo leo chancellor no. so isn't yeah. it exactly what dj big sky said yesterday yes dj big sky being fundanai wow. a university of johannesburg at the time it was twr wow. we started pretty <laughs> much music at the same time okay. We're almost the same age i'm two years older than him he's 39. Yeah. um i blew up first many many years ago of course he never gave up he's only blowing up now he blew up now in 18 years i'm a piano you know wow. but yeah. as a grown and, and, and mature guy now mm -hmm. he's able to and this is exactly what he was sharing sitting exactly where you're sitting is all yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. so i love that responsibility yeah. from yeah. it's yeah. very very important because yeah. a lot of people underestimate the power of music the power of words that yes. are said through a song because with music we are not only touching their emotions but we are making them say the things that Tina we are too long away about yeah and when they say those things yeah. over and over yeah. Yeah. those are the Be things that eventually manifest in their life yeah. of course. Yeah. so yeah. when your music is just negative yeah. Yeah. there's yeah. only one sister petit yeah <laughs> that's true <laughs> no thank you yeah, yeah. I, I think really young into the I remember just uh, guys to think in the intent, but in Kumbula, uh, Erosetta, and saying, I was good scares. Uh, great, maybe I was five, six ish, somewhere around there. And in Kumbulu, cooking, case in Tishin, and good Lali Channel O. It's a like only on SBC one gets cut his seal and a corn. It's a yeah, limited. Yeah, yeah. It's open a, time. It's an open, open time, time yeah. yeah. And I remember it's all two young women that used to haunt me. Uh, Daft Punk around the world. Around the world. I but I could peep through it was we So men case can they kinda lament this thing is haunting me. You see why why am I so I understand but I loved it. I was so drawn to it. Mm. But men cool and gave no hey nylent of yeah. yeah. boy. So it's stuck here this is the yes. second song conscious mind. Yes, it's Timel as a season. I knew it was I just do it. I was like, ah. <laughs> and I didn't like school. I was just cutting out. No, why am I going to school? Why am I school? You know? And I think Gangsha, which we had to walk like five, six k k's to school, which was just a lot at the time. So as a kid, you don't. Hey, you just want to watch TV and so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With all the success, um, both of you guys, 
it seems as though it's not even it seems you are still so humble <laughs> how how were you able we see a lot of artists start from coming from a makaya mm-hmm. blowing up and then suddenly you know there's arrogance and they start making the you know bad decisions you know how where do you draw your 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 your, your humbleness you know how do you remain grounded still um i think jengs or kalang bong my parents I, I think I think on a it's it's stuck in my head. No, ma- no ma- I don't mm. know how to do it. And also just being a very awkward kid. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and <laughs> And I just think, you know, <laughs> from because we are a great town, maybe we went Ambama and on weekends in Yagakoko, uh, which was also a humbling experience because we bass our pants in Gishu case, but for me, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful energy, um, you know, and then Zonke in Fundesongi Tole corner. Yeah, no, but we put it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally till this day we poise uh and okay. Like you know, till this day I could do whatever. Now mind I I need to do a thousand things to prove. I got privilege go right. Um and yeah, I think you know what Zonkin from this was I mean is Satek Bona Abazalbami. Um and then there's my mother, chilled, just laughs, but Nakona. Masa is cut so tula, too long a hump and doing and acting weird. Um, yeah, I, I think the lesson from this one has tata and guys banga banga bambele lagzona from primary high school, especially Evas in Kalangetra. Um, Evas, you can do anything that you want to do, yeah. but I really gang is a yellow because I was judged. What when I was here was valele lap, and I was like, and yeah, Zaz, and I know if I'm a poor man, get out there, I will not finish this degree. and I think boys are the poor people. Yeah. just for failing a module or yeah. <laughs> And I didn't want that. I, d- I didn't like uncomfortable situations, especially a kaya. Um so yeah, after I got I was like, so it does work in when this was your seven. Mm. So I think I've just held on to it, you know, and also moving here with my sister um and I went to my interviews, I'm there checking, okay. Um it shows, oh okay, we are it um and another thing, but industry you must not always think you are I don't wanna say You've this arrived. word. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you you have arrived, you know. It's mm. it's an art, respect it as an art. Mm. We are Tula, mm. you are there for the people. Yes, you're also there for yourself, but you are just there to present whatever you have to present to the people and mm. because it could really just disappear any minute. Yeah. Um so now she really helped me a lot, um, in terms of just knowing myself and like composure, you know. Um so I think yeah, mm. and the, the, mm. I'm in a group of guys. I think for a very long time I was the only lady. Um, Pat, Pat and Jay, it took so long for him to be like, okay, yeah, the voice is there. Yeah, yeah she's she's yeah, she's worth the risk. <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had to prove myself and I loved yes. it. I was like, okay, I will prove myself. It's okay, I will do that. And yeah, you know, they really showed me you know, just because you're an artist, anything on my big with Agana Mali. The cast didn't change. Sunnyly didn't change. I was like, oh, so the song can be big, and you must just relax. And yeah. I really just also wanted to keep my life. Um, so I was like, no, there's music, and then there's me. There's yeah. see me. There's Usim Piu. So yeah. Yeah, um, well, I think for me, na, it's a little different story because Ankulanga na Bazal, you know, I lost my parents at a very young age, but Ngakulu so kog and so kog by telling do. So I think from love because many wild and many understanding it's a little ball and just these arcade games, mm. you know. Um, but as in cool, you know, I think you lose your, your parents at a very young age, you can see responsibility, you know. I I even think in the kitchen because you can think now, he seven zillion and their fig. And uh, I think go go clala footy demo music again. You don't keep willing to pick over. I think he'll have put on the corner because I stayed there for five years not demo. And 
Ukama wami ngemva wabu usi DJ ya and samba zonke zin da Tanzania yeah uh, yeah Angola all this place and she took me to Porto where the only black people in the flight it was so crazy when getting your poor man getting your mall yeah I'm the only black dude I'm yeah, like yeah. It, it felt so awkward I was like hey guy boy any da o get but young girl on down killing a move you know I'm seeing you put coffee just flying I'm just the DJ and watching all these things. I saw other artists going down. When I'm new, I saw my bones okay. As lending me a 46 card to really study about the system, which okay. Yin double artist laying it and I that is so good. It's shown up hands in double lay, shown up his, you know. Uh, I think I was learning a lot. I was so and really get a lot of my cool and I was like, okay. Right, in such a young kid, and I won't come on the Kubele Pambili, Congo Bona Matia Wisan and Yaklasi Trillin, you know, and plus Nungab Naimad, you know. Oh, I don't want to say, I'm a It was so tough, you know, that song in the in the scene story, Essence in Markle, because I remember Sam May figure, you were figuring my wings, I was 12, you know what I mean? The reason why I'm getting the Indians, I it to do that's because best thing I'm my headphones here to bring a night jack, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <But> I, <laughs> I think DJs and producers understand this. Yeah, one. yeah, they do. Oh, it was, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a rough time. No, it was a very, very it was rough real. time. You know. It was a struggle. Yes, the Cosmo mm. City, you know, uh, it's still La Payana, and but we pet me to your move was a Chinese bag. I'm getting getting shared and then you don't pet me never. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I worked hard. I had to work really hard with the Yens. I like, may figure and get calling the Yens. I figure may have worked saying it's nothing. What do you think? Yeah. And I think young Kelon the young Hamblisha, you know, and I've seen so I've had songs Gusbusi that were really just doing rounds and my life was not really changing at that time. And I didn't understand. The one more in Ghana you just sing your song, I mean Gumami Ham, why I'm in Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, so but young Kelon to phone you know I want Jack, Musuk Jack, relax. One of us with cut circles over shop. So I think none of mine, I think say loud and I just I understand that you should see it's 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 Wow, yeah. guys, this is my. I'm so I am so blessed that I'm interviewing both of them for the second time, and it's actually dope that on this interview they're together on the same interview. Yes, and they've just released albums, Bali too. So yeah, and let's talk about the albums. Yeah. I know what they, they don't need to promote their music; they're already doing well. <laughs> but let's talk about the music now before we wrap it up. To get the three made of the stars, uh, the world and beyond. To the world and beyond. There yeah. we go. Hmm. This is The Hustler's Corner.